Today we're gonna plant this, uh, it's a big leaf magnolia. A lot of people will put trees where they're really not supposed to go. Uh, this likes dappled shade and a moist woodland setting and that's exactly where the tree is gonna go. So we've got the tree sort of set up here right about where we think we want it to go. So I'm just gonna mark, just roughly do an outline of where we're gonna dig the hole for the width of the hole, which is very key, it should be two to three times the width of the root ball. Because most roots, all the feeder roots on a tree, uh, really are in the top six to 12 inches. Really let the weight of the tool do the digging so it's very easy on your body. And you just let the pick slide. You sort of slide in a circular motion and the thing just goes right into the ground, almost like a backhoe if you had a hydraulic backhoe. The other rule about this, you don't want to go too deep. Um, you only go the depth of the root ball. Now that we've excavated the hole to approximate size we want, it's about easily two, two times the width of the, ball, the root ball. Probably going to lay the tree on its side. We usually do that and put it near the hole and we'll get the pot off. So there's our pot. Um, you see we have little matted roots on the bottom. Uh, it's good to use your hands or uh, some small little gardening tools. There's little hand forks which are great for loosening roots. Don't be afraid to take off even all of this existing potting mix. It's really not, not the soil the tree is going to grow in. So you can really kind of work the root system. You want to make sure the big structural roots are exposed uh, so the tree can breathe. So we're going to try to scratch down along the trunk to see where we can find the first structural roots. You can actually see there's about two to three inches of soil that was piled up against the trunk before the root flare. So if you just took it out of the pot and stuck it in the ground at the level that you thought it was, uh, it would be planted three inches deep and about five to ten years from now the tree would die. What I'm going to do now is we're going to mix, mix some compost in with the uh, existing backfill. Uh, it's good not to fill the hole with you know, bags of planting mix you buy at a, at a garden center. It's always good to mix the amendments right in with the existing soil. <clears throat> We're just going to throw some compost right on top of the backfill. They recommend not to fertilize uh, new tree or shrub plantings. Uh, that's the latest recommendation. And uh, we just backfill it with a little compost mixed in with the soil, but we also add uh, some phosphate. See, the nice wide hole helps too to position the tree. You can move it around nicely. Sometimes I usually just tamp with my hands first. Try to work it in into the root system. See that? Maybe just give it a nice, nice drink so it makes a little mode of water so it settles everything in and just wait till that drains. Now that we got the, looks like the water settled in pretty good. So I might actually put a little more compost. <clears throat> Maybe a little handful of the sugar. A little, phos little phosphorus. Just like you were mixing a little a little uh, brownie mix or something at home. Also, I never, <clears throat> we always leave the small rocks, we always throw them back in the hole because it's, it's a great, great places for the roots again. Uh, really to have them go down and underneath rocks is a great situation for, uh, for roots. Just kind of working it in still. And you can lightly, you can lightly tamp with your feet too, it's good. You don't want to just jump up and down to, you don't want to crush the roots. Even with all that root system sort of torn apart and exposed, the tree is rock solid in the hole. 
and it's best to let the tree wiggle with the wind to develop stronger roots than if you guy it uh, with stakes. Now that we got that settled in there, kind of wash off the trunk a little bit. And most plants need about an inch of water, inch of rain, so to speak, out of the, per week, especially new plantings. Just give a little more, a little drain in there a little bit. There's an old saying about trees. The first year they sleep, second year they creep, the third year they leap. So don't be discouraged when your tree isn't growing after the first year. It's probably done a fine job planting. So thank you very much, I'm Dean Bouchard. Tune in again soon for another tip from the Trustees Horticulture team.